First, let's go ahead and talk about this celebration. The Bolts got back on the ice in Emily Arena tonight to show off their cup after bringing it back to Tampa to some really much deserved cheers. The captain with the cup, that's Hedman with the Conn Smythe Trophy. The run up to the cup was in Canada, Toronto and Edmonton. They spent 65 days in a bubble. The players separated from family, friends, coaches separated from sons, spouses, dads, and daughters. Now they're going to return to their loved ones as champions. 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcido was there for the homecoming today as they finally got to hug their families for the first time in months. Preparation set for the Stanley Cup champions to arrive. The owner of the Tampa Bay Lightning, Jeff Vinnick, says this moment is special for everyone. I got to believe they're a lot more excited to see their families at this point. It's 65 days in that bubble. Really, really challenging conditions for everybody involved. Buses are loaded with family while kids hold signs and anxiously wait for the players to land at Tampa International Airport. <laughs> These moments with family are the ones that mean the most. Everybody here, it's the police, the firemen, the fans, the, and we feel, we just felt the energy everybody without being able to spend the time with them. Coach John Cooper had tears in his eyes talking about the Bolts winning game six. He says the team felt Tampa Bay support from miles away. We would score and they would show live shots of our fans. And so it got like really emotional for me anyway. After seeing their families for the first time in months, the team loads the Stanley Cup onto a trolley to take it home to Amelie Arena. All of our residents will be able to line down the Riverwalk, downtown Davis Island, to be able to, to cheer on our Lightning team. Inside Amelie. It's my privilege to announce the Stanley Cup! The Lightning community gets their first look at the Stanley Cup, and the players thank the fans. The Bolts finally get to celebrate on the ice. Wow, this thing is actually ours. And I don't know about you, Ryan, but I can't get enough of that video of the baby in oh, the Stanley so Cup. Great. It's just amazing. So, so great. tomorrow's boat parade begins at 5 o'clock at Marjorie Park Marina on Davis Island. It will do a little loop in front of the convention center before floating up the Hillsborough River past Curtis Hickson Park and Armature Works. Tampa's police chief says they hope to have it all wrapped up within an hour, which will be impressive. Then it's off to Raymond James Stadium for the championships celebration. Now the parking lots open up at 530, doors open up at 630, and the event officially kicks off at 730. Now, you will need to get tickets, but don't worry, they are free. We have a link on where you can get those right now on our free 10 Tampa Bay app. Heard a lot of those tickets, by the way, have been picked up already. So you might have a little bit yeah. of a tough time, but still take a look if you want to go. Now we're going to have crews out along that parade route and Ray J all day tomorrow. I'm going to be out there at the Riverwalk with our 10 Sports Grace Remington. All the excitement, we're going to show it to you live on our Facebook page. We'll have it on 10 Tampa Bay starting at 5 o'clock. It's going to be a momentous day for this city. So make sure you tune into all of our coverage here on 10 Tampa.